everybody, how's it going? I'm kind of scared to really wave to you because I'm getting my nails done tonight, which means that right now, I'm just gonna show you a quick little glance. I took all my nails off myself. My nail woman is going to slap me silly. You're probably wondering why am I sharing this with you? Well, because I share everything. Get over it! Today, what are we talking about? A, what is today's date? Today's date is September 14th, which means Today's Monday. Three weeks from tomorrow, we're heading out. Little cupcake fiesta, me, Mr. Renee, heading all the way out to New York City. That's right, New York City Wine and Food Festival. Are you gonna be there? Have you bought your tickets? For crying out loud, what are you waiting for? They added a few more events, but I'm telling you, it's probably selling out faster than you can imagine. I'll stop hanging out. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. So, today I wanted to talk about I can't be away from him. Um, today, we're going to be talking about my dear friend, Tyler. Actually, I have two Tyler. I think I have three. I have a lot of Tyler cookbooks. And as you can see, Tyler sadly is married right now. Uh, but I, I broke up with him because he called me all the time. He wouldn't leave me alone. He was always showing up at my house saying, please, Kelly, let me bake for you. Let me, please, can I just make you a whole bowl of this spaghetti carbonara? And I'm like, please, Tyler, I'm trying to work out. <sighs> I had to break up with him because, well, I gained 200 pounds. So, I'm sorry, was I talking out loud about my dreams again? Apparently. Anyway, I love Tyler Florence. Actually, I think he's one of the more underutilized chefs on um, Food Network because he, his shows, whether it's, um, he's done, what is, Tyler's Ultimate, I was about to say the best of, no, Tyler's Ultimate, and then, um, I think he has, he's had two shows in the past, but anyway, he really should have more because he's really, really good. Um, I don't particularly like his kitchen, I'm just going to be honest, I don't like Rachel Ray's kitchen either. Barefoot Contessa, now that's a kitchen. Paula Deen, that's a kitchen. Who else do I like? Oh, Michael Chiarello. That's a kitchen. Um, seriously, those three kitchens, any of those, that's what I want. That'd be fine. But uh, Rachel Ray, not digging the kitchen at all. Love you, Rachel, but not the kitchen. And I also don't really like Tyler's kitchen. But Tyler, that's fine. Now this is actually looking like a different kitchen. But anyway, Tyler has a lot of restaurant experience and I think maybe that's why he brings kind of that background to his cooking. He just always, whenever you watch his cooking shows, he's always offering that extra bit of information instead of, and I don't know really, I think most of the Food Network chefs are really good at explaining, you know, why do you want to do it this way? Why do you want to have your butter at room temperature? Why do you want to, if you're baking or whatever, why do you want to bring your, your eggs down to room temperature? Why do you want to mix your eggs up separately before you add them into the meatloaf, whatever. And it helps you figure things out so that you can apply that yourself when you're cooking in other ways. The other thing too that I love about um, Tyler's cookbooks, not only is the photography beautiful, but you know, just his commentary. Um, he's like talking about this spaghetti carbonara and he says, spaghetti carbonara was one of the first authentic pasta dishes I mastered as a young line cook working in an Italian restaurant. It's never lost its charm. The smoky bacon and silky egg sauce wrap around cherry, excuse me, Chewy strands of spaghetti with lots of fresh cracked black pepper. It's so simple and delicious. In a silly way, it's like breakfast spaghetti. Another great thing about this dish is that eggs and bacon are inexpensive. If it weren't for spaghetti carbonara, I think I would have starved to death at college. Who's in college making spaghetti carbonara? Not me. I was making ramen noodles. Trying to dig through my jeans for an extra quarter for barbecued wings. That's what you did at Ohio State. They had like 10 cent wings, I think. But if you added in a hair flip, and you got a lot of wings for free. I'm just saying. Sorry, boys. Anyway, Tyler Florence is awesome. He's going to be, I think he's going to be at uh, the food festival. Um, but the other thing that cracks me up about Tyler, he's been doing these when they have the night, uh, Next Food Network star. <laughs> and he's like a judge. He tries to get his game face on, and I have to give him credit because like, I really fell for it. But he's kind of like a, a hard ass when he's doing that. He's like, what you just did there was really stupid. And I always think that they really should have like a third person when they do these shows. So you have 
the judges, right? You have the professional people from Food Network, and then you have the people that are sweating trying out for the shows. They should have somebody like <laughs> monitoring all of the events, like going back and forth. Like, did you just see that? I just saw Bobby Flay giving that person that finger over there. And then I can be like, well, see, I'm volunteering myself for the job. But just like a play-by-play. -play. You know, you'd be a football. When you're watching football, you'd have somebody who's like commenting on everything, talking about what this person did and what this person did. When they have Next Food, <laughs> Next Food Network star, I've just always thought they should have somebody being like, well, you guys were a break. You wouldn't even believe it. These two broke out the jello and started totally going at it. Just an idea. So that's it. I'm excited. Can't wait. Three weeks. And um, yeah, I'm on a liquid diet of nothing but kombucha and stones. <laughs> and I'm working out three times a day so that I can eat whatever I want when I'm at the uh, festival. Got a problem with that? I don't see a problem with that. You guys have a good afternoon. Try to guess who we're going to be featuring on tomorrow's show. I bet you can't guess. I bet you can't guess.